to try to cut back underneath. He has got to play it. No room. Cooper Webb takes the win in Seattle. In one of the wildest races of the year, Monster Energy Yamaha star racing's Cooper Webb outdueled Red Bull KTM's Chase Sexton to win the Seattle Supercross. It was Webb's third win of 2024, and he crucially clawed five important points back on championship leader Jet Lawrence with the victory. Two-time 450SX champion Cooper Webb has likened racing team Honda HRC's Jet Lawrence to a game of chess. So what moves will it take for the Monster Energy Yamaha star racing rider to challenge the premier class rookie for this year's crown? Saturday's 11 round of Monster Energy Supercross in Seattle saw current red plate holder Lawrence hit Cooper Webb move the score down to 16 points. It marked the first time we've truly seen them in a position to battle. With their results seemingly contrasting each other so far this season, they will fight in many fields. The fight of two championship favorites just didn't eventuate. The generational talent of Lawrence snapped up the lead, bridged a gap between himself and the ever-crafty 28-year-old Webb before maintaining that advantage to the checkered flag, earning his three main event victory of season 2024 in the process. Webb, who has three main event wins and four podiums to his name this year, is certain that if he can reduce the margin to the factory Honda rider throughout a race and be within striking distance, then he'll at least give himself a chance to capitalize on Lawrence's mistakes. It's where Webb excels late in the race. Lawrence, who went undefeated in his rookie pro motocross 450 MX campaign last year, is no stranger to riding in the presence of Webb, the pair having utilized the same training facility while the youthful Australian was establishing himself in the 250 SX category. It's this insight that has the 20-year-old wary in his bid for a maiden 450SX title, describing Webb as lethal in his ability to surge at the pointy end of races. It's a trend that was also evident in Webb's 2019 and 2021 titles, where he stormed to wins and podiums in the back half of the series to ultimately earn the number one plate. Talk about the mental strength of Cooper Webb in Seattle. He stayed in the fight and managed to hold off Sexton, despite developing arm pump late. This isn't Webb's first rodeo. He has been taken to the late rounds by many riders and usually bests them in that scenario. There are not many riders that I would trust more in a last lap battle than Webb. He often knows where the other rider is going better than they do. He knows where to block and where any opportunity may lie. He's the ultimate strategist in that regard. Webb's win pulled him to 16 points down of Jet Lawrence with six rounds to go. The final Triple Crown race of 2024 is next week in St. Louis, Missouri, as Webb continues to try to claw his way back towards the points leader. Webb first had to survive a fierce challenge by Lawrence. Webb's win pulled him to 16 points down of Jet Lawrence with six rounds to go. The final Triple Crown race of 2024 is next week in St. Louis, Missouri, as Webb continues to try to claw his way back towards the points leader.